It is so wintry here that I've been trying to wear these sunglasses just to cheer myself up a little. That darn movie show. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Clarice here with That Darn Movie Show and I hope you're having a wonderful 2017 so far and that you've seen plenty of very cool movies. Now, I know I said in my last video that I would do like a favorites of 2016 video, but I realize now that it is far too late for that and nobody cares anymore, so instead, I just thought I'd review the first new release that I've seen this year, and that is M. Night Shyamalan's Split. Now, I very much want to preface my thoughts on this with a little bit of a disclaimer that I was literally the only person that I talked to who didn't like this movie, and I read all the reviews and most of them are very positive about the film. So this is really one of those instances where a film seems so different to you than everyone else that it feels a little bit like you're going insane, which is maybe a weird thing to say about a film which is about disassociative identity disorder. Because to everybody else, this seemed like it was like an effective psychological thriller and that it was M. Night Shyamalan's best film since Signs, but to me, it was just dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. Like, not just, like, signs dumb, which is just very minorly dumb, but, like, the happening dumb, which is like a dumb orgy. So yeah, this movie is about someone with disassociative identity disorder, which is James McAvoy's character, who has, like, 23 different personalities, and one of the personalities kidnaps a bunch of women and holds them hostage. And yeah, I think there is probably something inherently offensive about a film in which the scary part is someone's mental illness, but honestly, like, my brain didn't even get to that place mentally because I was so preoccupied with just how weird this film was. Because, and I don't know if this is to the film's credit, but like, M. Night Shyamalan is obsessed in this film with the idea that having DID or any other kind of mental illness actually makes you more evolved than the rest of the human race because you've overcome your trauma in a way that gives you kind of supernatural-esque powers and I just it's like he's trying to destigmatize mental illness but he's gone so far in the other direction that it's looped back around and is I don't know either offensive once more or it's just weird and it doesn't really make any sense and it's just one of those films where I just so struggle to see what point he's trying to make with it. And the same goes for the film's tone, because the audience were laughing a lot, and I was laughing a lot, but I feel like they were laughing with the film, and I was laughing at the film. In the way that, like, The Happening was the unintentional comedy hit of that year. And I think a lot of that actually comes down to James McAvoy's performance in this. And I do really like him, and usually I really enjoy his performances, but with this, like, the only way I can really describe it is that it's like you've gone to your friend's free hour-long character comedy show, and it's in a basement, and you just go along because it's free, and you sit there and you smile and nod while they yell in your face, because the only other person who turned up was an old lady who just came in to find somewhere to sit, and now she's fallen asleep. And yeah, it's very intense, and he commits, like, they're holding Michael Fassbender at gunpoint off camera, but every single personality in this film is just very like, flamboyant and theatrical and camp, like, they're all contestants on RuPaul's Drag Race, and, like, Patricia is one of the personalities, and you know it's Patricia because Patricia likes to wear a shawl and raise her eyebrows a lot, and it's just all of these very strange, disparate elements coming together in a very strange, disparate tone that by the end of this film and its surprise ending, and it's more of a surprise than a twist, but yeah, by the time we got to that point, I was so confused by what this film wanted out of me that I was genuinely a little bit speechless. And if you've had a chance to see Split, and you've probably got a different opinion because everyone else did, but if you have had a chance to see it, I would love to know what you guys thought. You can let me know down in the comments below, or you can hit me up on Twitter, details down in that description box. Also don't forget to like and subscribe so we can hang out and talk about movies. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!